Team. Um, it, again, we're asked to find the horizontal tangents, which means we're looking for when y prime is equal to zero. Now, the only thing that they did differently this time is that they've given us um, our function as, uh, it's already factored. All right. So now when I go to do y prime, here's the problem with y prime. This is a product, right? So in order to do the product rule, we got we got to uh, separate these two. In other words, we're going to use the UV notation. So we'll say that you. Oh wait, you guys can't see that color, can you? No. So we'll say U is equal to x plus one, and then we will say V is equal to x squared plus one. And so what we're what we're really saying is we're, we're going to say that we want u, in other words, we're saying that y is a function of uv, u times v, two separate functions. So it's like a, a composed function of u and v. So now to take y prime, we need to take the prime of u, v. So to take the derivative of a product, we have to use the product rule. And so if you don't, it, it doesn't take long to memorize it, but if you can't remember the product rule, it's on page 119 in your textbook, but it is u, v prime, plus, and then it's the opposite, v, u prime. Now I'm going to bounce back and forth through all these different types of notations, but so when I say y prime, I'm say, it, it's the same as saying dy dx, or the same as saying f prime, or y prime, or u u prime, or you know, there's there's really literally like six or seven ways to say it, but we're all referring to the derivative of a function. <laughs> so u prime is the same as du dx, which is uh, basically we're going to take the derivative of u with respect to x. And so what's the derivative of x? Well, this is x to the first power, so it's just 1. And then when we subtract the 1 away from this, I get x to the 1 minus 1, which is x to the 0. That's it. We're done. The derivative of u is 1. Now, when I take the derivative of v, with respect to x, I toss the 2 to the front and subtract 1 from the power, so I get 2x to the first. What is the derivative of a constant? 0. 0. So really, v prime is just 2x, and then u prime is just 1. Okay? See how that works? I wrote it out separately so you can get used to seeing all the different notation together, because uh, on the AP exam, you, you, you got to know them all. Okay? So now let's plug this stuff in. So u is x plus 1. v prime is just 2x plus v, which is x squared plus 1, and then du, which is just, or, or uh, u prime, which is just 1. So now that, before I go any further, do you guys see what I'm doing here? Are there any questions? I don't want to go too fast. So I understood A, but what was B? Well, let's finish this. So as we push this through, I get 2x squared plus 2x, right, doing the distributive property through, plus x squared plus 1. Combine like terms, and I get uh, 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. Is that right? Yeah. Now, it says, what are the horizontal tangents? I don't know if I like this one. This one isn't very factorable. Yeah, this one is not fun. Wait, it doesn't say fine. It just said that the answer is the same thing. It doesn't say 5. Wait, it said, well, it said, oh, it doesn't say horizontal. I apologize. That's, well, wait, no, it's a 7 through 12. Oh, it's not asking for the horizontal tangents. The question is actually saying, find dy dx by applying the product rule. And then it says, oh, so, so this is one way to get the answer, right? So they wanted us to do, so this is part A. 
Is that the answer? Yes. Well, the, yeah, this is part A. What they wanted us to do, okay, so we used the product rule to get the answer. Now what they want us to do is start over with the function and expand the binomials. In other words, before we take y prime, let's multiply this out and see what we get. Let's take x plus 1 times the quantity x squared plus 1, and I get x cubed, x squared, x and 1. In other words, this is y equals x cubed plus x squared um, plus x plus 1. So if I multiply that out, this is the polynomial I'll get. Does that make sense? Yes. Now, if I do y prime, I just use the product rule, which will give me 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. Hey, that's what we got the last time. That makes sense. Yeah, that's what I did. Now, here's what I want you guys to notice. We did all this work, and here we did the same thing in three steps. Now, you're going to have, uh, you're going to be tempted to only do your homework this way. And what's Mr. Adams going to say? No. no, don't do it that way. Do it this way. Nope. Because there will be a question, I promise you, on the AP exam that will want you to do it this way. Or, you, or when you do it with trig functions and stuff like that, this is the only way to do it. So learn how to do it this way. Okay?